Narrowboat, narrowboat, narrowboat will. Do you know, he's an absolute bounder. Have you got, have you got a chattering gearbox on tick over when you go past boats? It's so annoying and I, I know the feeling. It's well worth getting your drive plate done, you know. The upgraded soft touch drive plate. The later one, you know. I've got, I want to put the, uh, I want to put the, I want to put the part number on. Well, I don't want to say this, the problem will be out, so get that. The second lock of the day. Nice and that sill. <laughs> Caught in the trap. Filthy thumbses. You lot. <laughs> Steak lock, oh, that sounds nice. Butter on it, some fried onions, mushrooms, mashed potato. Oh. <laughs> Please make it for me. Yeah, it is. Come on, 69, we're off. Yeah, we are. service perfect it's not even mean this is called this is called sandbark it's C S, S A N D B A C H. Yeah, sandbatch. I don't know how you pronounce it I'd say bark I'd you'd say, say batch yeah because I'm not French sandbach you're not French either I'm not French but San I call it I call it I call it sandbark I call it how it's spelled what would you lot call it I'd call it sandbach there's always somebody Oh, you didn't pronounce again, it like that. You pronounce batch, it like this. It's called Sambachichi. Sambachichi. Oh, looks like they're doing work here. Uh oh, oh dear. Well, oh, we can get past them. Yeah, yeah. Some work going on. Nice little nose. 
low, didn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a horrible stench in here. River Wee Lock runs through here. We've got a couple of locks to do. Then we, then we, that's our destination. We've done about eight locks, haven't we? Eight, it ten locks. Nine and ten, yeah. Nine, ten locks. I think there's, there's a two lock system here, I think. I think you can use either. Either or. Very unusual. I think you did it for traffic, so it became a bottleneck, so they put another lock in, you know. You can see where they've just dug dug out there, put another lock in. Can't you? It's totally off the mainstream of the canal. Oh, it's fascinating. He knows a lot about canals, doesn't he? Thank you, I do, don't I? You're very kind. We're just pure we're purely down here just killing time. Because all the lot all the canals we want to go up, like Trenton Mersey up towards Manchester, all closed. Langollin's closed. Uh, the Macclesfield's closed. It's got a brief oh, filthy lens. Ah, sorry. Better. All closed. Sorry, you're still on. Hello, hello. I'm going now. On this lot, I can't get in. The gate's not opening properly. Oh. I got completely wasted in that one. Some, some, something behind the gate, so we decided to use that one over there. Thank goodness, there's two. Thank the Lord, there's two, um, two locks. And that one's swinging open lot. It's the oldest swinger in town. Somewhere behind the, the lock, I can't get in. The, the lock door gate thing. I just hope we get in this one. I like these steps both sides. It's fabulous, isn't it? There we go, rippers. Going in is precious. Why do you keep saying that? Because I love. I love that Gollum on Lord of the Rings. It's a great movie. The Precious. The Precious. I don't open fully. This is what's causing problems with my boat. Probably silt build up or something. It's a very muddy. Very deep locks, aren't they? Very muddy. Urgh. Aerial muddiness is overwhelming. I made a shelf just there above all this lot. I mean, I've just I've wedged it in, I've got to trim that down, that's too long. Just to put my um phone on and um just keys in it, because if it's time to put my glasses, they fall down the back of the toolbox. I put my glasses <laughs> What the hell hit the lock? I put my glasses on here, my headphones and a cup, you know, keys and stuff. I've got to sand it down and varnish it yet, rip it. Just glued that on. Got to trim that and re-glue it. I just thought yesterday I was bored. I thought I'd make something out of it. Would I add? What a wonderful little cottage lot. With its little balanced face there, looking. You know, it's all two up, two down, literally. What's up, back? Let's go back. Another lot to do, and that's it. We're done for the day. Again, we've got a game of golf booked in for one o'clock. It's a cheap course. We're going to stay here for a week, maybe two weeks. We don't know. We're just going to play endless golf. That's all we're going to do now. Well, here we are. <coughs> There's our golf clubs. There's the course. We're going to moor here for a couple of weeks, maybe, and just enjoy having some chill out time, you know, playing golf. Relaxing, golf every other day, four days a week, five days, whatever. Because I've cruised for many, many years now without any holidays or any breaks. Ooh, you're on holiday now. I know I'm on holiday now. It's sort of holiday, but it's like a busman's holiday. You don't want to, you know, you get used to it, don't you? Right, onward. Well, here we are. 
What's this golf course called? Mal, Mal, Mal Bank or something. Ten pound for an eighteen-hour course. It looks great. After one o'clock twilight. Bloody hell! I'll take it to bank. First hole's a par three. First shot of the day, not even warmed up. Some kind of bird of prey in the tree, beautiful creature. Just sitting there a lot, on its own business, as far as I can zoom that is, 12 times zoom. This phone's rubbish for zoom, isn't it? Ow. Look at that lot, stuck there looking at us. Ow. He's, he's been on the swings. He's been on the swings, hasn't he? He's been on the seesaw. He's, he's knackered now, look, he's done all the park. Good morning. We're just going up these. Just got these three locks. Opposite this Milford uh, golf course. I think it's Milford. Um, so we can be near the entrance to the golf club. <laughs> so we can play more golf. Easier. I'm going to turn around as well. There's turning points up there. So we can get some water uh, in a few days. There's something. There's something around the prop. See it there, lot. Oh, I didn't go in. It's too cold to go in. Beautiful course. This is. I love it. Tenor a game at one o'clock. Pretty hell. Who wouldn't stay here if you're into golf, sort of thing, you know? Lock number two for the day. Range 151, I'd really like these. That's all built up so you can jump off easily, got the steps with your rope. No downside is the bridge there. There used to be a gap in between, but now you can't put your rope through it. Ah, oh, okay. Selfish. little wharf down there. This golf course called Millbrook. Mill, Millbrook I think it is, not Millford. Millbrook. It's for sale. One and a half million if you want to buy a golf course. And it's a very nice golf course indeed. turn on these and it's too late. It's this person cut this branch down. You can't turn on these. It's hit that wall almost all the time. Oh no, zoom out. Well, forget that one. It's like a new boat with that new drive plate. Oh, I'm so happy with it. What a difference in cruising pleasure. Last lock of the day. I must admit, I tell you, this area's been fantastic, signal, so quiet and peaceful. It's parking, it's got the golf course, it's the court down the road, it, it's got absolutely everything. Why are you stopping there? I'm moving for personal circumstances beyond my control. We're going down, I'm gonna get some water, and get rid of the rubbish. And then um, I'm gonna stay down here, I think, and go back for Mr. Van and play some more golf. It's cheap, it's £10 a game, I mean, we normally play 25 if, if you play, once or twice a month maybe. So you can play two games for the price of one almost, you know what I mean? It makes 
sense, doesn't it? I won't play at all. I know you wouldn't, but I do. I love it. I don't. I know. All right, you don't like it then. Why are you playing that? Because I like it. Well, stop it. No. You're like a two-story shed there, lot. Wow. It makes sense if you go down some ladders, doesn't it? You need to utilise all that space. I'm trying to find somewhere to moor up now with the signal. This is how I feel on the 15th hole. Change my tyres! Today I'm heading back to Middlewich. This was, this was a lovely little break up here. Great signal, it's just shops are there, beautiful. But now I'm heading back to um, Middlewich and then up to Chester. I'm going to do a silver propeller challenge down the few locks in Chester and then back up towards Lancaster so that's the plan for now because I can't go anywhere until until the end of Feb anyway I can't go up towards Man Manchester or anything because it's all, it's all shut until the locks have been repaired end of Feb so look at that for a see that I might be going very fast must be shallow on the edges there. So our Leon, he's gone away working for a couple of weeks. He's gone to, um, or a week or so, I think. He's gone to um, help his friend's dad we, we do this house. So he's been labouring for a few weeks. Good for him, you know. Um, he's, trying to, he's trying to save as much as he can. So I'm helping him out in that way by letting him live here on the boat. He's trying to save up. He's still paying rent, so it's helping me out. No end, you know paying towards it's not cheap man nothing's cheap is it you all know this going to even going to Aldi now you're spending 60 quid on a, just a three or four days shopping we try to save money by um, making big pots of stews but that's between two of us it only lasts about three days so you, every time you shop it's 40 quid you know you just get your essentials like milk sugar and just toiletries everything used to be a pound I was, I was talking to Leon the other day about the stuff I used to buy in the 90s, I'd buy, I'd buy Golden Virginia when I was a smoker for three pounds a pack, 50 grams. I'd buy a pint for 80p and I was earning 100 pound a day in the 90s. My, my pound has probably gone down to about 40p now. So every pound you earn, it's just 40p you're earning because of inflation on the, all this goods you're buying. This country's absolutely gone down the pound. This is the uh, British Salt Manufacturers, uh, Salt uh, Company Limited, I think it is, and they uh, they produce salt and transport it around the country. These huge piles of salt that look like um, looks like great snowdrifts outside the factory. It's amazing to see as you pass it. It's like huge mountains of snow outside, but they they produce and refined salt. Heading towards middle of which you've got just outside King's Lock, you've got that King's Lock chandlery. Not a little shop in there. Got some coal and some uh, some diesel from there on the way up. It's on the way back. I'm back here now, middle of which this is that uh, that lady of the locks house, isn't it? She used to live here. What's her name? Lynx something. Diane, was it Diane? No. That's Taylor's board Mom, that's Josh's mum. Susan something. Oh, I can't remember now. I can't be honest looking up to be honest. Is it, there's a name Wardle. Doesn't Wardle.
portal, was it? That's the shortest canal. What was this now? What's this clip? Who knows? I think Leon sent me this, didn't he? What is going on now? I don't know where I am. What am I doing? Oh, I'll have to find out next time, won't you?